Fry, take a look at the Zakem Bridge tonight. The evening rush is on, and you see there it is a challenging drive again, at least out of the city heading northbound. Southbound, not so bad. We've seen everything, though, from lanes suddenly vanishing because of the snow encroaching to some giant potholes. The weather has taken a toll on our streets, our cars, definitely our patients, but we can't blame the weather for the results of this study. Yeah, this study <laughs> shows that even when you remove all of the obstacles, Bay State drivers still rank among the country's most reckless. John Keller is live for us in Mobile 4 tonight. And John, it seems that uh, we're in denial about our bad habits. Yeah, that's a good word for it, David. You know, it was not uncommon in the 24 states surveyed by the American Automobile Association for there to be a gap between how people thought drivers should behave and how they behave themselves. But almost nowhere was that gap larger than here in our beloved home state of Massachusetts, home to a reputation of every man for himself driving that appears to be well earned. Money. Texting, everybody's texting, looking down, you see the blue glow in their face. I see people coming right on those highway ramps and not looking, not slowing down. They will be on their cell phone. I see an awful lot when the lights turn yellow. Everybody speeds up and gets through it. And according to AAA's annual traffic safety culture study, we indulge liberally in these risky behaviors, even though we know they're wrong. For instance, 91% of us say it's wrong to run a red light when you could have stopped, but 45% of us admit to having done it. 60% say it's bad to talk on your cell phone while driving, but 78% confess they do it. And when it comes to speeding on the highway and in residential areas, a whopping 68% of us admit to doing it, even though 83% of us say we disapprove of the practice. The only silver lining? Rhode Island is worse. It really is so rewarding to be nice, kind, and courteous to other drivers. You can tell Mary McGuire of AAA isn't from here originally. We don't like nanny state restrictions. We've seen that with the seatbelt debate uh, over the years, and we don't like to be told what to do in our cars. A do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do mentality that drives some of us crazy. Everybody leaves busy, busy lives, and, uh, you know, they think it's downtime, maybe behind the wheel, and probably isn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> Could be upside downtime. Now, there are all sorts of potential remedies for bad Massachusetts driving that have been floating around for years, everything from better driver's ed to tougher seatbelt laws. But at some point, it's up to every one of us to decide if we really want to perpetuate a way of life behind the wheel that is too often the shortest route to an early death. Reporting live from Mobile 4, I'm John Keller at large, WBZ News. And hold on a second. Go ahead, cut us off. I know you want to. <laughs> there we go. Nice, kind, and courteous. All those things. Thank you, John.